why we didn't trust that this was gonna be easy. Oh, look, a dragon. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that was planned. I'm glad you got a 3D movie too. That had to have been right in your face, right? Yeah, that was, uh, I had the 3D glasses on and everything. <laughs> you know what's crazy? 3D, crazy. like 3D glasses, 3D movie, 3D video game stuff really just fucking disintegrated, didn't it? Dude, I was at, uh, I was at the arcade the other day, I was telling you, and they have a whole bunch of like VR stuff. Like, oh, you can go in like the VR experience, the Omni room. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at it through the lens of like, this is this already feels outdated this just feels like a weird gimmick like i know in like 10 or 20 years that's gonna be like the same thing as the pac-man machine in the corner but like even just seeing it like all oh, brand new vr like oh you could like we have a vibe headset yeah i think I, I, what was last you've been to an arcade you went to an arcade recently when you did that thing right yeah like two days ago yeah like on the weekend i gotta get your take on this have you noticed that all the light gun games at the arcades have stayed in like 2003. Like the graphics are terrible. Yes. The frame rates are always dog shit. The mechanic. Oh, like also, this is let me add. They have a they had like a whole booth where like eight people could go in and play VR, and they've got like slippery feet floors, so you actually like run in the games, and it's got like foot trackers. Oh, which that's was cool. also it was a little miserable. But that wasn't good. Also, you're just wearing Vive headsets, but they can't license out Vive games. I guess they thought it would be cheaper to make their own games. So it's like the, you could play Beat Saber, but it was like Song Master. And it was just, they're all just like super shitty copies of all the games you would want to play. Oh, Song Master. <laughs> I got that's like a great online handle name, like the Song Master. <laughs> The song master. Yeah, we played Elite Force, which was the generic military deathmatch. It took longer to like get us all strapped in than it did to play. I'm trying to think of what was it when VR came out is when 3D glasses weren't cool anymore, right? I think they weren't cool for a while anymore. And also they call them 4D glasses now. I remember, go and this is, uh, is, I remember going to see, I believe it was, I think it was Avatar in theaters. The Avatar, like the first one. And it was a big deal because it was 3D and you get the 3D oh, yeah. glasses. You're, you're right. So someone I know was saying that they went to go see the new Avatar and they're handing out 4D glasses. Like mm -hmm. they rebrand it 3D because it's like, oh, 3D is kind of lame now. So we're going to give them 4D glasses. And we were like, that doesn't make any freaking sense. And they're like, no, the fourth dimension is time. And an Avatar takes time to watch. It's a 4D. It, like, they're not like, it's sure. But the only reason why I bring it up is because I remember it because it's a long movie. I think halfway through the movie, I just, I took the glasses off because I was like, I can't fucking stand this anymore. I like, my <laughs> head hurt. I kind of felt like ill. And yeah, I watched, they're, they're rough. I watched like 20 to 30 minutes of it just all fucked up looking and blurry and spaced out weird. I got up and I went just got like snacks and shit. I think I walked around the lobby for like 10 minutes. I missed like a, a portion of the whole middle part of the movie. And then I, I kind of went to the bathroom. It had to have been at least 10 to 15 minutes that I was not in the seat. And then I just put the glasses back on and off. I, I, in intervals, would take the glasses on and off and watch it blurry and then watch it in 3D for the rest of like the hour and a half that I was still there. Do you th yeah, I think I'll, I was just I only ever used them like one time and I do kind of remember just like my head and eyes kind of hurt. Do you think there'll ever be a period where they'll do VR movies with VR headsets in the seats and there'll uh. be something to watch or something to like participate in? I feel like that's the next step. And that's probably possible. I feel like that's some some shit you'd find in like a museum or a zoo. Like you go into the zoo experience, and like oh you can like pet the penguins. So they're like they're like you know VR zoo experience in the zoo. I'm telling you, I, that's the real thing. I know it. I I feel like I've heard of that before from somewhere. Avatar Six, you're gonna be able to walk around the movie set while the movie happens. I'm just telling you that's what's happening. There's gonna be the movie playing, and you're gonna be able to just be kind of walking around or just looking at stuff. And this is going to be the movie <laughs> over here. That actually sounds kind of cool. Hopefully in that future, you go to the theater, you sit down, and then like an anesthesiologist comes over and injects LSD into your fucking jugular. And instead of watching a movie, you all just trip together. <laughs> what? What's the point of being? What's the point of the and movie? Then, and then on the movie screen is the <laughs> freaking uh, the Hypnotoad from Futurama. <laughs> so you say, what's the... I don't even know how to respond to this. It's just like, <laughs> Sit everybody it's like all, in a chair. It's like, because it's just an experience. That would be a terrible experience, because you, oh yeah, all like, you want a room full of like 50 to 100 people all doing LSD? How many of them are standing up? 
and like walking around the aisles and shit. Like I don't want to do. I'm not no, in that. No, I don't. No, I don't no, want to be no, in that no, fucking no, no. movie theater. You're over there. You get strapped in. What? You get strapped into the chair. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to this movie. And you watch Hypnotoad. <laughs> and a professional drugs you. Nope. They're a professional. Nope. Nope. I, I, I like my VR. You walk around like the set that James Cameron made. <laughs> Torture. <laughs> but should, would you be able to be heard and seen by other people? I think. <laughs> you can imagine like a big VR chat lobby. Just like all yelling shit and screaming at each other while these two <laughs> actors just talking and the movie's going on. No, well, that yeah, would be like hell. Soundproof earmuffs on. Stir, you're describing a clockwork orange. Oh my god. It's a good movie. Holy shit. Oh my god. If they ever did that, let's say there was like Avatar 6 was like, yeah, everyone could put the VR headset on and kind of walk around while the movie was playing out in like a 3D space around everybody. Mm -hmm. They definitely would just make it so you couldn't, you had to have like the Avatar. Everyone had to, would have to probably have to be an Avatar, right? You'd have to be. Oh, so you would get the per, you would get the point of view of the protagonist. No, 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 no. It would be like a side NPC and we would all have different points of view. And then like when the characters are talking, it's like, I'm talking to you. But you're like Jack no. Bailey or whatever his name was, and then like we kiss. No. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about the movie is just in 3D space. The movie is being is playing. And you are just in that space. You you cannot interact. You just can be in the space and see like the crazy shit. You can walk around in it. If somebody's oh. talking, there's like let's say, let's say you got let's say you got Tom Hanks over here and he's talking to um who else is an avatar? Uh whatever. So you got Tom, Tom Hanks is an avatar? Probably. So this you got Tom Hanks and there's another person talking. And you can just literally leave the room and just go look around like the world of Avatar. And you don't you, you oh. can just do whatever you want. Oh, so you're saying like the movie scene is happening in this room, but mm -hmm. you can just leave the room and look at like an empty field while yes. like the, the cinematic is going on and you're like not even present. Can you imagine how different that movie would be from multiple different crazy places you could watch from? If there was a big battle. Imagine just being like, no, I'm just going to go on like the roof of this random building and just watch the battle from there this time. Oh, I yeah, I can imagine being in the movie of, of a big battle, an immersive experience of you in the, like the traumatic war movie. Like the avatars are all getting bombed or something. Oh, no, my like Erd trees burning, whatever their shit is. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds way better than my idea of like putting people on LSD and strapping them in. I like Stir's plan. No, you don't. Stop. That's weird because my plan was not spoken to be liked. That's <laughs> weird that you like. Yeah. Oh man, like, that sounds pretty yeah. good. You mean I got to take LSD and sit and like freak out in a movie theater? Sign me up. Well, it feels like okay, okay. It feels a little bit the same. Where like VR is kind of like the new experimental technology. Like we're just starting to dabble in VR. Like why not like also like hard drugs. <laughs> but like hard drugs start, you know, they're starting to get like more accepted, like uh, the, the psychedelics, you know, they're starting to be like, yeah, hey, maybe we should like do some psychedelic research. You know, they're not like, they're not the worst. But not uh, wait, wait, bad. wait, wait, wait. Are you in? And then they start doing public, uh, like the public can start getting some access to these and we're going to do like psycho, psycho. All right. Are, are you implying, are you implying that movies are, are potentially going to get, are getting more boring or kind of lame to a point where That's like, it's not what I'm saying. You just, okay, so let, take movies out of the equation. You're just saying that do drugs in a I, big well, group. That's I your idea. That's that the is, idea. <laughs> That's your idea. That's just it. Yeah, but like, <laughs> it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> to be clear, I think you got it. <laughs> so movies have nothing to do with, movies have nothing to do with our conversation at all. From well, your from your side here. Movie theaters. We're just talking about like entertainment that started with like VR. Uh, but, like, okay. The same way that like VR has the goofy like sign up for the VR booth and it's like weird. You you give it a couple <laughs> years, it's gonna be like sign up. This we're doing LSD at noon. <laughs> I don't think so. I think so. And you know what? <laughs> That's fine. It's funny. So VR is a thing now. My idea is VR kind of evolves a little, and we participate in movies. Your idea is VR fails. Okay. We all do listen. drugs in a room strapped to follow, chairs. Follow the logic. Where's the logic? Here. Listen, to, I got the logic for you right now. I've, it's it's loaded up. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm a billionaire. The fi I, bo Earth is boring. I'm going to buy a rocket ship company and fly to space. That's happening, right? And you also have like a lower level of rich persons. Like I can't fly my own rocket to space. 
I'm going to go to Brazil and find someone to administer ayahuasca to me in the middle of the jungle. What if we monetized ayahuasca from the jungle and just brought it into the fucking psychatorium and did it like a movie theater? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. What you, I don't even know what he's saying. I don't even know what he's in, saying. In, invest. Invest. <laughs> psychatorium coming to your city. Dude, th you, you're psychatorium me out right now. <laughs> All right, let's... <laughs> you, you haven't heard of any of these like random rich people going to the jungle to like do like a, 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 a ayahuasca experience. I mean, I hear about you know. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, so, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course I have. I feel like there's a lot more. Like, of course, you know, a lot left unsaid. Yeah, I've been to Brazil, dude. Let him cook. No, don't let him cook. If he cooks, <laughs> no. Let's all strap in. <laughs> yeah. <I just, laughs> I love a good. Oh no, he's in a cheese in the chair right now. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm going to the VR room. I want nothing to do with this. VR room is lame, dude. It's just so funny to me the fact we're talking about movies and t my thing that I'm saying is you you taking away the visual, just remove the theater part, and it's just everyone do drugs together. I There's no theater. I said that the theater is displaying the Futurama hypnotoad. <laughs> Don't you think that would just freak everybody out? Like who? You know what? I, well, that, if you, it's like, oh, everybody, let's all just stare at this on LSD for four hours. Okay, like that. well, then we can pull it back and it can just be like, I don't know, a room, like a singular room. Around here, I don't I don't know if there's like a Texas thing. There are so many weird builds. I don't know what they do, but it's like, come in here for your, like, your health clinic, like personal, like carbon digital health, digital health clinic. And they're like really pristine places that have like nothing in them. If you just look in the glass, it's just like, a table with one person at it. I don't know what they're doing in there. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing in there. Like, like expensive area. Like, there, there's never anyone goes in. No one ever comes out. I've never, I don't, I've never heard of this. I don't know. I've, I have never heard it, of this. Digital health. There's also like a cryogenics place, like, around here. Is it? Like, are you sure they're not? Are you sure it's not like a hospital? No. All right. I don't know. Car cartel money laundry. There is a place near here. I I honestly think a legitimate large amount of the places here have to be invested in like money laundering. There is a drive-through jewelry store. This place has a fucking open drive-through. What? Who is driving through? It's like a like a expensive ass like case jeweler kind of like oh just drive through pick up your jewelry no problem. There is some fucking like hey know, what, what some, like, hey drug but what money if, being exchanged there's what if, something hey, going on. What if you just want like a quick pair of earrings or something? Uh <laughs> Got you. I'm in, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. Got you. Again, I don't know never seen anyone never seen anyone go to that place ever. All right. Can we play can we beat Redan oh, please? A guy in my chat says it's extremely all caps it's extremely common. Nice nice announce your privilege to my chat. Get the fuck out of here. Where is Radon? Why can't we activate the festival? What are we doing? Oh my god, somebody stop him! <laughs> we gotta get Stir to stop talking about drugs for a few uh, minutes. I, what What if, like, instead of no, the money laundering no jewelry store, what if it was a drive through LSD? No! Are you serious? Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Quick, quick! Uh, blenders. Uh, I'm just pasta I'm just, sauce. Oh, oh, we can talk about macaroni and cheese. Talk about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about your favorite macaroni and cheese. My insane rant. This isn't even insane. I'm see. I'm still on it. There totally are places where you can get like. <laughs> now you know. I'm. You know. You know. Never mind. You know. Never mind. You know. You guys. <laughs> uh oh. I'm He's start turning. You, you don't have to believe in me. Uh, I'm just gonna do a smart. Start up a small little company. It'll be called like Tesla or something. You'll hear about it. <laughs> No one will believe in it, and then I'll like post some memes on the internet, and like way more people will invest than the company makes money. All and right. then, uh, all right now, now, now the video cuts, and it's a news report. A uh, local streamer, uh, Stir, has been arrested for setting up an illegal LSD torture chamber. Uh, he has been arrested, and he's now going to be in prison for the rest of his life. Where, yeah, where I'm going to continue to try and you know expand my operation. Uh, uh, authorities have said that we have no idea what the hell this man was thinking when he decided to do this. It was one of the most un unreal ideas we've ever heard. Again, more unreal than like digging a tunnel only for Teslas. Are you on drugs right now? No. <laughs> All right, let's go. W were you yesterday? 